So I'm starting off on the right foot because I'm saying let's put it on a separate layer. So I take my marquee selection tool, I hold down the shift key and just make a little square and fill it with white. And now I want to make a series of these squares. Now the one way I could do it, one of the, there's, you probably know if you've used Photoshop for more than seven minutes, there's, as my mother liked to say, umpteen different ways to do something. Um, and to, to put these squares across, I could just hold down the Option or Alt key and drag and hope that somehow I could magically make exactly the same measurement. So that wouldn't be ideal. But here's what I mean by this end up with. Okay, so I'm going to use a little command. You're sure you're familiar with free transform. Well, if you hold down the Option or Alt key when you use free transform, it sends a signal to Photoshop to say, whatever you do next, do it to a copy. So instead of transforming this square, it's going to make another one. So if I hold down the Shift key, I can say, I want the next square to be approximately there. And of course, I'm just doing this by eye, saying that looks pretty good. I hit Enter. Now I want to tell Photoshop, whatever you just did, do it again. And there's a shortcut for this, which is the entire left side of your keyboard, T. So Command Option Shift T or Control Alt Shift T is a shortcut for repeat transformation, I meaning whatever you just did, do it again. So I told it, make another new square there, whatever there is. So now if I press all those shortcuts, you'll see, but now the problem is I wanted one more and it's off the end of the page because I arbitrarily chose that spacing and it's off a little bit. And the mistake I made is I did it all on one layer. So to be able to select each square and move it over, I could do it, but it would be really difficult. So instead, a much better choice would be do almost everything else the same, but think I want to end up with a series of squares that are evenly spread out. So as part of my end up with philosophy, you'll find what often happens is initially it looks more complicated to give you the option to end up with. Okay? So starts off the same. I've got um, the square on the layer, but here's the, the one difference that I do. In the first example, I deselected it. By doing that, I'm sorry, I should say they're around. The first example, it was selected, which told Photoshop, keep everything on the same layer. So instead, if I deselected, that simple thing is going to change the way that this technique works. So now I do the same steps, Command or Control, Option T. I still move it over a certain amount and hit Enter. But if you look in the Layers panel, you see it put that automatically on a new layer, just by the simple matter of deselecting it. Now I use that same everything shortcut. And I suddenly go, okay, it worked perfectly. Uh, but, but let's pretend it, the spacing was really off. Now I have the advantage where I have all these layers. So for example, I could take my move tool and say, I really want the last square to finish here. Well, now that I've done that, the spacing is all off. So in the layers panel, the first layer is selected, or the, and actually the last layer, it doesn't matter. Hold down the shift key, select the rest of the layer, and then with the move tool selected, I have all these options, including distribute. So now distribute by their center. So anytime I need to change this, I can just say, let's just move this even closer in, select them all, and distribute. So by doing it that way, it's given me way more control. The first scenario, I had paint on a layer. And even though in my mind they were squares, as far as Photoshop is concerned, it was just a bunch of white paint. Here, each of those layers is separate. So I can continue to move, I could scale them. Now, at this point, what I used to do before the advent of these wonderful things called smart objects is I would merge these layers together thinking, well, I'm saving space. But merging is a very close second to flattening in its badness. Because if you merge layers, you're also throwing away the ability to edit it. So I would either put these squares in a group, which is like a folder. So at the very least, from an organizational standpoint, I choose new groups from, new group from layers and call it something. So now at least functionally, I can show and hide, but I still have all the separate layers in the middle. That would be one option. Or the other option, which I again will have a whole separate class on, is converting to a smart object, which looks very much like merging, but the difference is I still have access to all those separate pieces of information. Okay? So this end up with concept appears over and over again in, in what you're doing in Photoshop, at least it should.